Hello, this time I've been assigned to connect the Truman Show with Western philosophy, so let's jump right into it. The Truman Show is a show about a man named Truman. The Truman Show is a comedy where we follow the life of Truman Burbank, who seems to be a perfectly normal guy. But here's the catch. His entire life has been monitored and broadcast as a TV show to the world, and he doesn't realize it. The town he lives in is a giant movie set, the people around him are actors, the world as he knew it was fake. Organized by a man named Kristoff, this Truman Show has been running smoothly for 30 years, until a series of onset mistakes causes Truman to suspect something's up. Phew! Now that we've got a basic summary, let's start connecting the dots. Main point one, doubting reality. As I mentioned before, Truman starts noticing weird hiccups going on in his life. A spotlight falling from the sky, a radio transmission following his movements, and his presumably dead father reappearing on set. That gives him cause to think that what he used to believe was a lie. This parallels the logic of early modern philosopher René Descartes. He didn't want to hold any false beliefs, so he decided to disbelieve everything. Truman, like Descartes, realizes if some of his beliefs are false, how does he know if his other beliefs are true? So he dumps the metaphorical apple basket. Main point two, the evil genius. Again referring to Descartes, quoting from his meditations, some malignant demon, who is at once exceedingly potent and deceitful, has employed all his artifice to deceive me. I will suppose that the sky, the air, the earth, colors, figures, sounds, and all external things are nothing better than the illusions of dreams, by means of which this being has laid snares for my credulity. Translation? The theory that an all-powerful yet evil genius is trying to trick us into believing that what we experience is real. Sound familiar? Simply put, Kristoff is the Truman Show's evil genius, since he tries to reassure Truman that his world is real. That fallen spotlight? A broken airplane part. The radio transmission, a police frequency. Following along? Good. Let's keep going. Main point three, chasing the truth. The Truman Show also reflects on an idea outside modern philosophy. It was... It was... I forgot again! Hey! Someone turn on the lights! If you recall Plato's allegory of the cave, a prisoner who has only known shadows and dim light steps outside. He learns that the shadows he saw were not actual objects, and the firelight is nothing compared to the bright sun. Sure, it takes some adjustment to clearly see the real world, but he goes on with it instead of retreating back into the darkness. Truman is the prisoner in this case. When he suspects that his reality isn't reality, he resolves to leave his home. By leaving, he is saying goodbye to his past relationships, plus confronting his fear of water. Talk about out of the comfort zone. Regardless, he continues to the edge of the studio and out the door into the dark unknown. In pursuit of the truth, both Truman and the prisoners step out of their comfort zones. Once they do, they have a better understanding of what is and isn't real. Although The Truman Show is a comical movie, it touches on philosophical ideas such as the uncertainty of reality and truth versus blissful ignorance. In the final scene, Kristoff says, There's no more truth out there than there is in a world I created for you, but I'd like to argue that it's no excuse to turn my eyes to what I know is false. As I live, I would develop and disprove theories about reality, and I would learn from them. That is human progress.